What are some of the biggest challenges uh, you faced in ministering to Asian American millennials? Yeah, you know, one thing I think I've seen is um, there. So I speak on behalf of Korean Americans, obviously, but you know, every Korean American has pretty much grown up in the church or had some uh, church experience at some point in their life, and a lot of them uh, they go back to their youth days when, at the last night of the retreat, things get emotional and they cry and they think something happened, and so the rest of their faith journey moving forward almost becomes a. a Trying to, uh, they're trying to reclaim, hey, what was that experience? What, what happened there? Mm -hmm. And how come it seems like everything just fell off the map after that point? Mm -hmm. And so um, a, a lot of the experience, I think, is there's this utter confusion of what is Christian spirituality? What is biblical spirituality? And how come I don't feel what I once felt? Mm -hmm. And so I think it's kind of hard to map out a, a spirituality, a biblical one, where uh, they're trying not to go back to a past experience. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, I think for me, there's a couple of thoughts, a couple of things. One that's been a big challenge is being bicultural. Uh, sometimes we're the best of both worlds. Sometimes we're the worst of both worlds. And then sometimes we just selectively choose when we're Asian, when we're American. So for example, like our welcome ministry, I noticed that at least at our church, the Asians at our church, like Americans, like their autonomy. They don't want you chasing them with clipboards. They, want, they don't want you bothering them, haggling them for their info. They want that space. Mm -hmm. But when I go to a lot of white American churches, um, they have ministry booths. So when I'm ready to engage, I will engage. But for Asian Americans, they want the autonomy on the front end, like an American. But on the back end, when they're ready, they want you to call them out. They want you to ask them to serve, mm -hmm. ask them to help. So when they move between cultures like that, I find it hard to kind of, okay, like what are, what are we dealing with here? You know, who are we dealing with? Probably a better question. But the other thing, too, for me is the concept of becoming an adult, right? Because if discipleship is, you know, helping people become fully formed Christians, we are, we become adults very differently. So in American, white American culture, 18 is a rite of passage into adulthood. Mm -hmm. But in Asian culture, it's marriage when you get married. They add to that, millennials are getting married later. So you're not seen as an adult from the first generation until you're married. And so I think that just complicates becoming your own person, thinking about things on your own. I think that it's been hard to kind of pinpoint how do we then help them become mature Christians. Yeah, yeah for me as a pastor, uh, I think right now like um, a big buzzword amongst uh, young adults and millennials in the church is community. This idea of community, and I think as Asian Americans, uh, the cultural, you know, traditional, historic experience of community, it, it can get really confused. Uh, and so I think for some, there's like an idolatry of community um, and a real misunderstanding of what biblical community is. When in reality, they're just trying to replicate maybe a youth group experience. They have Confucian influences on what does it mean to. Uh, be a neighbor or a friend or, or be in relationship with one another. And so for me, that's been a real difficult thing because I would say number one reason why people are leaving their churches, they'll just throw it out there. Oh, a lack of community. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking for a different kind of community. Yeah. And uh, you always have to flesh out, like, what do you mean by that? Right. And it just means so many different things that um, as a pastor, for me, it's it's been tricky to navigate and really trying to build up a biblical foundation of what uh, gospel-centered Christian community is and not just like feed into, yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of like, it's not just community, but also like you said, they're looking for that experience again. Mm -hmm. Or if we wouldn't even say the feeling again. Right. So uh, that's another reason I think people leave church. Like, I don't get that feeling here. Mm -hmm. A community and experience, those are the ones I at least mark a lot of our exodus when people are transitioning out of our ministry. Um, so yeah, I think those are good thoughts.